In this video, I'll show you how to display your WooCommerce product by category using two different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to display your products by categories similar to this here. So in these two sections, we're using the default Glutenberg editor. And then if we scroll further down the page, we're using the AOV of a product table plugin to display products by categories using this table format. And one of the main benefits to using this format is one, you can add additional information such as custom attributes that relates to the product. And we can also quickly filter and sort the products directly on this page as well so whichever one you choose will be based on your requirements but if you want to use a product table format you'll need to head over to aovup.com go ahead and download the product table plugin by aovup i'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard if you want to use the product table method, go ahead and upload the AOV up product table plugin by navigating to plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii suite menu here. Go ahead and click activate to activate your license key. Once you've done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section where you can go ahead and activate the AOV up product table plugin. Okay, so we'll just make sure we toggle this to on and that's about it okay so how we're going to structure this video is we'll actually create the page in which we want to display our products by category okay so i'm going to click add new and then page and then i'll show you the two different methods on this exact page okay let's say new in for example and then we want to display our latest products by category okay so let's say hats not sure if we've got a hats category and then let's just say bags for example okay let's change these into headings Okay, let's do the same for this one. Let's convert it into a heading. And then here, we're gonna be using the WooCommerce default method, right? So we're just gonna be using Gutenberg. Okay, so let's click this plus icon here, and then we'll search for products. And I'm gonna select browse all. And then I'm gonna select products by category, okay? I'm just gonna drag and drop it here. And then we'll select the categories in which we wanna display the product from. So I'm gonna select our category here. We can select multiple categories as well. Let's click done. And then here on the side, we can actually customize it. Okay, so we can customize the columns and also the row. Okay, so here we're just displaying two rows. Let's just do one row. Okay, that looks good. And then here as well, we can choose um, the content that we want to show. So maybe we want to hide the price. Maybe we want to hide the add to cart button and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and duplicate this row. And then I'm just going to add it below this bag section here. Okay, and then we can click on this edit icon. And then here we can specify a different category for this particular section. Okay, so let's just hit done. And that's it, that's using the WooCommerce default method. And let's go ahead and hit publish and then we can preview our page. And then next I'll show you how to achieve the same thing using our product table plugin. Okay, and that looks really good. So now let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's navigate to WeSuite and then product table. Okay, and then here we can create a new product table. Then for the name, I'm just going to name this um, hats category. Okay, and then we'll navigate to order information. And then here we can just create our columns, right? So we can say we want to display the product name, um, the short description, the price, maybe the SKU code, also the add to cart button. Okay, let's rearrange this slightly. Let's display the product image as well. Let's put the product image here. Okay, and that looks really good. We can rename the columns as well. So instead of same name, we can say product. Just hit update and then save. We can also customize the image size as well. I'm just going to leave it as default for now. A lot of these settings I'm going to leave as default. Um, bulk add to cart. I'm going to show buttons only. Enable Ajax add to cart. We're going to display the quantities as well. If it's a variable product, we're going to show it as a drop down. And then let's navigate over to where it says form controls here. And then here on the product conditions, we want to add a new condition. So we want to say the product category is. And then, for example, we can select our product category here. So we can say this one for the product filters. It's up to you if you want to allow filtering. Yeah, let's go ahead and enable filtering. And then for the rest of these, I'm just going to leave it as default form design. We can customize the form design. But again, I'm just going to leave everything as default for now. Let's hit a save changes. 
Let's head back over to our general settings. And in here we've got that particular product table, which we just created. So I'm going to duplicate this one. So again, similar to what we've done with the Gutenberg block, I'm duplicating this one. And then the only thing we're going to change is the category. Okay. So once you've got your design and everything to your liking, we can just duplicate it and replicate it for as many categories as we need. Okay. Let's change the title as well. So we know what it's for, but let's say bags. And then all we need to do is head down to where it says form controls. And instead of this category here, we can change it to whatever category we want. Okay. So we can say this one, for example, and then we just need to hit save changes. And now let's head back over to the main settings area. Okay. And then we'll copy the short code for each of these product tables. So we'll copy this short code here. Let's head back over to our page and let's go ahead. Well, let's duplicate these headings. Okay. Let's duplicate this one. Let's drag and drop it all the way down here. And then we'll just paste in our short code. Let's duplicate this heading as well. And then let's drag and drop this down here. And then let's go ahead and copy our other short code. Okay. Let's copy this short code here and then we can just paste it in and then just hit update. Okay. So now let's refresh this page here. Okay. So when we refresh the page here, we're using the default Glutenberg blocks and then here we're using a product table plugin. So one of the main benefits of using a product table plugin over the Glutenberg blocks is that we can add custom filters and we can also customize the column as well to display additional information. Next this off, the customer can still quickly search within the category. Okay. So for example, if we search blue, we can see it's instantly filled in all mentions of the word blue. Okay. So let's delete this. And those are two great options in which you can use to display your products by categories. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.